Back with us now, former New York City police lieutenant. He is Darren Porcher. Darren, this data is shocking and disturbing. More black people are dying from the crime wave hitting the country. They're getting murdered and killed at higher rates. Nine out of ten uh, murder victims in Pittsburgh and Indianapolis are black people. Eight out of ten in Chicago are black people. This is from the Daily Caller. This is really disturbing stuff. Absolutely. This is a troubling narrative, and not just the cities that you mentioned, but on a national level, we've seen a meteoric rise in injuries and deaths to the communities of color. So it begs the question in relation to Democrats, what are you doing to protect that community? The Democrats ran on the defund police um, method, and however, what happened was they lost a lot of the down-ballot elections as a result of stating this defund police, and ultimately defunding police is hurting these communities of color. We look at what happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota. They defunded the police, and it was the citizens of Minneapolis that actually sued the city council because they defunded the police because there was such a meteoric rise in crime. So it begs the question of where does the African American in the communities of color stand in connection with this movement? Yeah, that's a good point. In Pittsburgh, it's where 90 percent of the murder victims are black. It's nearly 60 percent uh, 60 in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, you know, so 63 cities voted to cut budgets for police. Their police are quitting in record numbers and retiring in record numbers. As you point out, this is a major Democrat voting bloc. What's going to happen? You know, I just give you an example. Here in New York City, the Manhattan District Attorney dismissed all of the charges against the rioters in the wake of the death of George Floyd that plagued the city of New York. However, the Manhattan DA continued to prosecute the officers that were using force to protect the citizens of New York City. So the politicians and the district attorneys are not setting forth the necessary agenda, and something needs to happen. We need to put a moratorium on this because police officers are our first line of defense in connection with the social contract. And unfortunately, these politicians just don't get it. Yeah, we hear you. Let's listen to one politician. He is retired New York City police officer Eric Adams. He's leading the New York City Democrat mayoral primary. He raises this point. Listen to this. Think about this for a moment. Ninety five percent of victims of shootings are black and brown in New York. Ninety five percent of the shooters are black and brown. So it's gang violence. It's gang violence. It's illegal guns. It's the people who are holding the guns and doing the shooting. And it's, it's just horrendous that it's blacks killing black people. We, we, how do we change this? This is a humanitarian crisis. You know, when we look at what's happening in, I give you the contrast of New York and Chicago, it's the exact same narrative. It's not just gun violence, it's drug violence. It's just, it's domestic violence. It's a culmination of different perspectives of criminal activity that are plaguing these communities of color. And the politicians just don't see it. They haven't set forth a plausible solution. And as a result of their inability to act, these communities are suffering carnage at record paces. You know, Wisconsin just passed a bill saying to their cities and towns, you, you defund police, we're going to penalize you. And now we have Baltimore voters saying basically that cities and, uh, cities and uh, residents are saying, we're going to recall you. We're going to recall you if you don't step up. What do you say to that? Well, one of the things uh, President Biden spoke to was the $350 billion that was contained in the America Rescue uh, package was uh, connected to police in, in police staffing, so to speak. I think that the president can focus on a targeted approach that if you don't take specific steps, you will not receive funding from the federal government. And that's what the president can hmm. do. But on a localized level, I just think that they're all over the place. And we have qualified practitioners in law enforcement, but the politicians are holding them back and presenting an agenda that's clearly not working. And as a result, we are experiencing people losing their lives on a daily basis, more so specific to the communities of color. Former New York City police lieutenant, he is Darren Porcher. Lieutenant, thanks for joining us. Thanks for your service to our country and New York City. It's good to see you. Come back soon.